Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to show you the major differences between the Snapdragon 821 chipset versus the Snapdragon 820. Quite a few of you were asking uh, me because now recently even the OnePlus 3T is going to come out with the new Snapdragon 821 chipset. And to give you a brief idea, I would say the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8X line is their flagship lineup. It started with the Snapdragon 800 chipset, then 801 was launched a few years ago. Then 805 was also launched. That was pretty popular. It was popular with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, Note Edge, etc. And uh, last year in uh, 2015, uh, they also launched the Snapdragon 810 and 808. They were not that popular because the 810 and even the 808 was having some uh, heating issues uh, but uh, this year in 2016 uh, Qualcomm launched the Snapdragon 820 chipset which was uh, pretty powerful and almost all the most powerful Android phones started using that but just about two months ago Qualcomm also introduced the Snapdragon 821 which was first seen on this uh, Google uh, Pixel phones and now even the new uh, OnePlus 3T is going to have the uh, Snapdragon 821 and uh, in a nutshell I would say it's not a huge upgrade it's an incremental upgrade but there are some minor differences that I'm going to talk about and the first thing uh, that you guys need to know is that the Snapdragon 821 variant uh, comes in two flavors uh, Google actually opted uh, for the other variant it's uh, clocked exactly similar to the Snapdragon 820 uh, the Snapdragon 820 and the 821 chipset uh, actually have four cores and they are divided between two cores, two powerful cores and let's say the other two cores are the normal day-to-day -day, uh, cores. For the powerful cores, for the Snapdragon 820, it was maximum clocked at 2.15 gigahertz, and uh, for the lower power cores, it was clocked at 1.2, uh, 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, but with the new Snapdragon 821, the two powerful cores can be clocked as high as uh, 2.35 gigahertz. That's almost 200 megahertz more than the Snapdragon 820, and the lower power cores technically can be clocked as high as 2.2 uh, gigahertz whereas on the older snapdragon 820 they were maximum capped to 1.6 gigahertz but uh, personally i haven't seen any device even the new uh, the new oneplus 3t that's coming out with the snapdragon 821 the lower power cores are not clocked very high they're still clocked at 1.6 gigahertz as you can see from the spec sheets of the oneplus 3t now moving to as i've told you there are two variants of the snapdragon 821 and if you uh, have seen the specs of the uh, Google Pixel and the Pixel XL, they have the Snapdragon 821 chipset. But again, the powerful cores are still clocked at 2.15 gigahertz, not at 2.35. And again, uh, the, these are two variants uh, OEM scan off for that. Uh, the thing is that if you are opting for the uh, regular clocked version, that is 2.15, uh, Qualcomm says that that improves the battery life for about Five percent. So Google opted for that. Uh, it's still the Snapdragon 821, but it's clocked at 2.15. Whereas uh, this OnePlus 3T is going with the higher clocked version that will be clocked at 2.35 gigahertz. And uh, another thing uh, that is different is regarding the GPU. Both of them have the Adreno 530 GPU, but again, in terms of clock frequency, there's a difference. The older Snapdragon 820 is clocked at uh, 624 MHz, whereas the new one is clocked at 653 MHz. So increase of about 29 MHz in GPU speed. Not a huge bump, but yeah, that difference is also uh, there. And according to Qualcomm, Qualcomm was mentioning that um, in terms of day-to-day -day usage, uh, the new Snapdragon 821 chipset will boot about 10% faster and apps also should lo load about 7 to 10% faster compared to the Snapdragon 820 uh, chipsets. So again, as you can see, not a huge difference. If you already have a device with Snapdragon 820, you shouldn't be worried about that. But one major difference is that the Snapdragon 821 will support the Snapdragon VR SDK. Uh, that's the reason that the Snapdragon 821 uh, based devices are uh, uh, Google Daydream ready. For example, Pixel is uh, Google VR uh, Daydream ready. That's the new VR stuff that is going to come out with uh, from Google. Again, not a huge difference, I would say, between the Snapdragon 820 and the 821. Uh, it's again, uh, it's up to the vendors. They can go for the higher clocked version or in case of Google, Google went for the more optimized version that gives better battery life. Again, uh, the major uh, upgrade from the Snapdragon 820 or the 821 would be next year. That is in 2017. 
and uh, Qualcomm is expected to release the Snapdragon 830 chipset and the new powerful phones uh, that will be coming out next year would be using that. For example, rumors are that uh, Samsung will uh, actually use uh, one of the Snapdragon 830 variants for the next version of the Galaxy S8. So guys, uh, I hope uh, this uh, video was helpful and gives you a little bit more info regarding the differences between the Snapdragon 820 and the 821. So guys, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.